For this example, I'm going to pick a couple of numbers off of our number line. So, for example, 5 and 9. We know that 5 plus 9 is 14. So when I do this arithmetic in a different base, if I don't come out with something that looks like 14 in decimal, then we're going to be in trouble. So in binary, 5 is 101, and 9 is 1001. So I'll add those two together. 1 plus 1 in binary gives me 10, so I'll write down a 0 and carry a 1. Now I have 1 plus 0 plus 0, which is 1. Then I have 0 plus 1, which is also 1. And then 1 plus 0 gives me 1. So I get 1, 1, 1, 0. And if I look over next to 14, that is what I see. So if I do the same thing in, say, octal, I'd have 5 is still 5. 9 here is 11. So I have 5 plus 1 is 6 in octal. And then 1 plus 0 is 1 in octal. So again, I look over, I see I've got 16 in octal. Hexadecimal isn't quite so interesting because 14 is still a single digit. So we're still kind of stuck memorizing that 9 plus 5 is 14 in hexadecimal. Alternatively, we can convert both of those to decimal numbers, do the arithmetic, then take the 14 and convert that back to E. Either of those will work for a small problem. We'll want to do something a little more interesting for larger problems, though.